Okay, so here we are. I was showing you uh, how to make a simple bootstrap landing page including a video, including a main tagline with a, an action button and a couple of uh, cell points and also a footer right here. So we did use a pingend and this was the program uh, that I'm making these tutorials about uh, just because it is very very easy when it comes to wireframing and laying out your design after making your design I really suggest you to go straight in the code and make uh, further customizations but at least to make this a grid and wireframing uh, process uh, it is a really good idea to use it just because you can visualize right there and uh, you can try multiple combina combinations uh, you know pretty pretty quick so the way I started was I'm just sort of uh, reversing the process I had four rows and in each one of the rows what you do is you insert uh, columns so you go column one here another column in the middle column down here column down here and you can just break uh, these rows into uh, multiple columns up to 12. As you can tell every time you make a column the program uh, shows you the class that uh, Bootstrap is using so in this case we're using the column for medium devices uh, with a span of 4. Uh, remember Bootstrap has 12 columns so uh, fourth will be a third of it but you can actually move these columns just by dragging them and uh, the class will change so let's say you want to have one column that goes to half of the screen and these uh, columns to be sort of um, a quarter of the screen and you're going to insert a piece of media and media uh, in Pingendo gives you a few options you can include an image, just a plain image here a responsive image or more interestingly I think you can uh, use a, a video and a video seems to work better uh, typically in landing pages you can also use page headers uh, on, on each column you can use paragraphs just underneath uh, <coughs> those headers and um, you can also have buttons uh, to make <coughs> your, your, call, your call to action so let's have one button here <clears throat> let's have another button here you can change the, the size of these buttons you can make this uh, button to be uh, smaller or bigger depending so let's go here you can also add icons to it <coughs> to all these <coughs> these um, these buttons let's go here let's add an icon first or second there you go and you can just change the size of the button for something bigger you can change the colors uh, using the default color palette uh, let's say let's use this too and uh, why not so as you can tell we have uh, already something going on here let's use a navigation bar on the top let's use a um, what else can we use let's use our well here why not and let's just keep the last uh, column for the copyright information and let's just save it and now let's just preview it there you go my friend there you go you have the landing page of course you have to adjust some padding you have to adjust a few things but we are going to, to work on this uh, later I'm just going to make a few ad adjustments here it seems like this is uh, too much going on so I'm just going to expand this column so the video fits nicely and uh, let's save and let's uh there you go, nice landing page you can use it to sell your book to sell your downloadable 
your information product, you know, let people subscribe to your channel, etc. You can change this brand for a logo and you can add more items here. Uh, so this is it. In another video I will show you more, more details about how to evolve uh, this page.